For the fourth issue of the Dark Pictures Anthology, the authors choose a real story of Coward Holmes, the first American serial killer who operated in the 19th century and killed up to 250 people in his murder castle, a labyrinth hotel uh, layout of which allowed victims to be trapped, tortured and tortured again. The plot of The Devil in Me is based on a film crew that produces documentaries about various maniacs, such a criminal Russia in an American way. The company barely keeps afloat and does not pleasure the audience with super cool content, but now it has a chance to get an exclusive. A certain fan of Howard Holmes invites the heroes to a mansion on a lonely island which exactly recreates the famous hotel. It would seem that what could be go wrong? You probably already guessed that absolutely everything will go wrong. The owner of the building quickly sails to the mainland as silent killer appears from somewhere and the hotel begins to transform, forcing visitors to rush along its corridors like guinea pigs. Not everyone will survive. Although perhaps on the contrary every member of the team will survive. Everything depends on your actions. The Devil in Me gives you the opportunity to make decisions that will affect the fate of the characters. At the same time, not all actions seem logical in the context of the survival of heroes. For example, in one of the scenes, the girl hears the voice of her friend from the radio, which recommends that she urgently hide in the closet. At the same time, the player knows that she is now a completely different place and cannot know what is happening to the heroine. Trusting the voice, which for example can be modeled by the killer to drive him into a trap, the girl still hides in the closet and it turns out to be the right decision. And there are many such pianos from the bushes. Characters blindly poke into player-controlled corners and cover long distances until the story focuses on them. Maniac is comically slow but seems to be everywhere at the same time. You might even think that the serial several killers, but no, there is only one psycho here. He just the magic of the scenario teleportation. Closer to the end, you begin to understand which scenes are potentially dangerous for the characters and each uh, they will definitely survive, so you can afford to relax. Not the best future for her, which should keep on your teeth. With each new part of the anthology, Supermassive Games can correct the mistakes of the previous parts. The Devil and Me become more dynamic and faster and also try to go beyond interactive cinema. There is a run button here to help you explore more actively. And puzzles have been added. The later uh, are reminiscent of games in the Resident Evil series. You have to move look cabinets, look for keys to close the door and use items to unique to each of the characters. So the director Charlie has a business card with which he opens locked boxes. And the illuminator Jesse has a multimeter that allows you to conjure over electrical panels. At the same time, items are not used as often as Wood would like, and their presence is felt more like a gimmick than a gameplay mechanic. That is, no one except Charlie meat boxes that need to be unlocked, and Jess multimeter is useless because the sequences of actions for starting electricity is indicated right on the panel. Perhaps the need of the stick on one particular character with flashlight would make the gameplay even more poignant. However, each of heroes has a light source in the form of another, whether it be lighter and illuminated mirror of flashlight. The dark picture anthology The Devil and Me deceives expectations. At first it seems that we are not in for an adventure with test of the spirit in the saw, but in reality everything is much simpler. The new game mechanics and puzzles do not add depth and only stretch the passage time. In addition to the episodes that you will spend wandering through, open spaces and labyrinths without any benefit. Yes, and the horror in general is not to say there is a lot. Perhaps this is the least terrible part of the anthology. But there are a lot of voice acting bugs, character offer switch from Russian to English, sensefully this doesn't happen during story cutscenes. Summing up, the season finally turned out to be sluggish. Also, the previous episodes are also not ideal. In the best interactive movie from Super Gaby Mouse is still Until Dawn, released in 2015. However, if you like past issue of the Dark Pictures Anthology, then the new one will definitely hook you. Well, authors of the anthology do not plan to stop there. The second season in 2023 will open the Space Horror Directive 1820. Thanks for watching and bye bye.